Hi there. In this video, we're going to look at dealing with criticism by using something called the hierarchy of focus model. So welcome to the video. I'm writing coach Kevin Johns. I help authors get their ideas out of their heads onto the page and into readers hands as quickly and as efficiently as possible. And if you want to learn more about me, you can always pop by www.kevintjohns.com. Now here's me and I know what you're thinking. Wow, that Kevin, he's got books, he's got coaching clients, he probably doesn't have a care in the world. But in fact, Whenever you do anything online or in public, there's a chance this guy's going to pop up. And what this guy loves to do is say things like, Hey, Kevin, you suck. This could be in the comments of a Facebook post. It could be an email someone sends your way or my way. Regardless, this guy is going to be out there. So the question is, how do you deal with him? So we're going to look at my personal hierarchy of focus. These are the people whose opinions matter to me. So whenever I put something out into the world or whenever I make a decision in my life, I consider how it's going to impact and be viewed by the people in my hierarchy of focus. So at the center is my family, my wife and my three daughters what they think of me matters to me more than anyone else. They're the heart of everything I do. Next up are my clients and my partners. So my clients would be people who have purchased my online courses or most importantly, my one-on-one -on -one clients. I highly value their opinion and their feedback. I also highly value feedback of my partners, such as author Catherine Brunel, who I co-host Write Along Radio with, a podcast about writing. What she thinks of me means the world to me. So it's very important to me what clients and partners like Catherine think about what I say and do. Next up are friends and fans, you know, my wider circle of friends. And in fans, I would include people who have read my books, purchased my courses, or who are on my email newsletter, people who I interact with frequently and who I'm trying to create content for and who I'm trying to help. Next up are prospects. So these are people who haven't come into contact with me yet, but who might resonate with my messaging. It might be people I could help as coaching clients, or perhaps it's someone who'd be interested in reading one of my books. The decisions I make and what I put out into the world, I think about how those people are going to view it before I do it. And that's it. That's my entire hierarchy of focus. These are the people whose criticism I care about, and whose opinions I take into account whenever I do anything. So let's take a look who isn't within my hierarchy of focus, the people who don't live in my circles of caring. These are the people who live out in that vast white space on the far right side of the screen. The haters, the trolls, the non-believers, you know, those people who say you'll never accomplish anything, there's no point in trying. The people who don't resonate with my work. You know, I'm not for everybody and that's okay. The cynics and those random commenters. You know, these people you've never seen before, you'll never see again, but they'll pop up and leave a nasty message on your YouTube video or what have you. These people's criticism doesn't bother me. They're not within my hierarchy of focus. I'm not trying to please them. And in fact, their opinions are irrelevant. This is the reality. Like they say, haters are gonna hate. So this is your guys' homework assignment. After watching this video, go out there and create your hierarchy of focus so that the next time the haters start throwing some barbs your way, you can ignore it because it's not within your hierarchy of focus. Their opinions aren't amongst the people whose opinions matter to you. So thanks for watching the video, cool cats. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Get out there, do some hierarchy of focus work, determine whose opinion really matters to you, and let the rest of it slide. Pop on by kevintjohns.com anytime. I'd love to hear from you. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching.